What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm tired. I'm really, really tired. In case you guys haven't realized this. I don't know exactly when it happened, but it's happened. And it's going to be bad. Stephen Jones is now the owner of the Dallas Cowboys. Or at least he's acting like it this off season. This is it's this is insane and and literally We are getting fed some shit. I don't know how else to put it. Stephen Jones thinks that anything that they say, anything that they say, we're going to take it as, yeah. I want you to understand where Stephen Jones tries to say that, you know, you, you don't build a team, a Super Bowl team, or you don't win a Super Bowl in the offseason, goes to show how stupid he is because all that preparation is key. Today he goes through and basically tells us that, you know, Dorrance Armstrong, he's right there with Randy Gregory. So in 59 career games for Dorrance Armstrong, and I think Dorrance Armstrong is going to be a good player. Don't get me wrong. He's had seven and a half sacks in 59 games. Randy Gregory's had 16 and a half, which I'm not going to say is, 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 the, is the greatest thing in the world. In 50 games, that's not bad, but he is getting up there in age. Dorrance Armstrong is a decent player, but here's where it doesn't make sense. If you're telling me that they're right there, then how come you were willing to pay $14.5 million for Randy Gregory and only $4 million for Dorrance Armstrong? If you're trying to tell me that these guys are the same, I think, isn't that what he tried to say? In fact, let me look in here. Dorrance Armstrong over the cap. Because let me make sure. Because something here don't jive. Uh, if, if you're saying they are the same guy, why the heck? If you're saying they're the same guy, then why were you willing to pay $14.5 million for Randy Gregory, but only $3.3 million for Dorrance Armstrong. So you can't have it both ways there, buddy. You can't have it there both ways. If you're saying they're the same guy, then how come you were going to pay one fourteen and a half million dollars and the other one 3.3? And, of course, now his thing is, is, you know, of course, of course, Amari Cooper, you know, he was a, a great player for us, you know, but this will give the opportunity for C.D. Lamb and Michael Gallup to, you know, step into the spotlight. Michael Gallup ain't going to be ready to play until probably the middle of the season. Are you literally this stupid? Do you really think we are this too? Or are you just that, you know, they always say as Cowboy fans, we're delusional. You know, the worst thing about a mistake is trying to cover up a mistake. And that's what you're trying to do. You are trying to make it look like, oh, we planned on not bringing back Randy Gregory because we got a bit great, greater value here for Dorrance Armstrong. And you know what? We're really just trying to give an opportunity to C.D. Lamb and Michael Gallup, you know, because Mari Cooper, well, he, he's taking on. Listen, you screwed up. You messed up. You did some stupid stuff. 
you are literally Bush League. You don't know what you're doing. And I'm going to say this. I could take and give you an opportunity to say, yeah, okay, I'm going to, you know, trust the process. But do you guys know what the process has brought? And, and don't, don't put this on Dak. Don't put this on Romo. Don't put this on Dez. Don't put this on Zeke. Don't put this on DeMarco Murray. You got to put this on right where it belongs. The fact that Stephen Jones has been here doing this stuff all these years, that in 25 years, I want you to understand, 25 years, we've got three playoff wins. That's averaging a playoff win every eight years. The reality is, Stephen Jones, as the new owner of the Dallas Cowboys, is turning us into the Jets. The Jags. No, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me stop right there. Let me stop right there because you know what? We can't even say that Stephen Jones will take us to be like the Jags or the Jets because you know what? The Jags have been to an AFC championship. The Jets have been to, I think, three with Mark Sanchez. So to say that Stephen Jones is going to take us to the depths of the Jets and the Jaguars, we're not that lucky. We got three playoff wins. Three. With the guys who are buying the groceries at the dollar store. And if you think you're going to get a gourmet meal, Shopping at the dollar store. You are sadly mistaken. Stephen Jones is trying to baffle us with bullshit. He's trying to make it sound like, you know, you know, this is the, this is exactly how a plan comes together for us. Cause this, this is what we wanted to do. I'm sorry. It makes me sick to my stomach. Every, every time, you know, people, every, every, fans are mad. Let me, let me be, be out here and tell you. Fans are mad. You know, as I get tweets, direct messages, and Facebook messages, and Instagram messages, and emails, and text messages, every, fans are mad. Every, it, it, Stephen Jones, there's no point in you trying to tell us bullshit because nobody believes you when you try and say you know Dorrance armstrong is the same as randy gregory it's kind of like we're going to call you on that bullshit we're going to call you on the bullshit when you say that you know well you know avari cooper hey you know uh, we're just fine with with uh you know uh, michael gallup who we know michael gallup in the same way you guys said he should be ready in, in training camp. We knew. I called this months ago. I said he's not going to be ready. Now, uh, you know, he, he might not be ready till week two or three. Probably won't be ready for most of the season. And you sold us on, we got to get that guy. You sold us on, you know, we can't keep Cedric Wilson because he's too expensive. You done told us. Bull crap that you know you can't you can't build a team through free agents. Well, here's the problem for you, Stephen Jones. Then what does build a team that wins more than three playoff games in 25 years? Because you haven't done it. You, ha- you haven't done it, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Get used to this, because. The Joneses have so much money, it don't matter if they win or lose. They're still going to get paid. They're still going to have fans in the stand. They're still going to be them boys. They're still going to lie to us and make us have hope only to have the rug pulled out from us again. So, yeah, I'm back on the bitter train right now because I'm tired 
of having bullshit thrown at me from Stephen Jones. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. I feel like Philly 500. What an idiot. What an idiot. Stephen Jones, you're an idiot. I'd fire his ass. I'd fire his ass. Steven's got to be stupid. What are you doing? You just let everybody take everybody. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what to do anymore. I fire Howie. Fucking fire him. Motherfucker. Stupid motherfucker. What an idiot. What an idiot. Dallas has Amari Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver. Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson. He's ass. He's stupid. I fire his ass. I fire his ass. I mean, how he's got to be stupid.